Welcome to another Michael's Beer Review. Tonight I'm reviewing the one and only Corona Extra. Corona Extra. Probably all have this, maybe you haven't. Uh, what's the ABV? But I think it was uh, 4.6 ABVs. It's American Adjunct Lager and uh, it's real yellow. But it's put in the, the freezer for a while because the best way to drink these beers are almost ice cold. Almost ice cold. Throw an extra. I don't know if you can see it. I have the glass ice cold too. So. I don't know if it's frozen or it tastes like American ad or smells like a corn American edge of lager. Not the best smell in the world, but it's doable. Grainy corn. Look. American edge of lager, yellow, pale. coming up it's ice cold <laughs> it's been in the freezer it has some coldness but let's taste it corona extra a lot of people hate this on beer advocate i don't know we'll see it's coming up taste it out of bottle Grainy corn, but it's not bad. It's sickly grainy corn. And it has a hot bite at the end. Um, I think you know you're drinking a beer. You got the corn. Again, it isn't, isn't a nasty corn taste. And they have a little bite. I don't know if it hops or whatever, which is good. And, you, and it has a, a finish, a dry finish. I think it's flowery hops. I don't know. It has like a <sighs> drink it out of here. The carbonation isn't bad, isn't it? It has some fizzy carbonation to it, but it you know what? I know this is People that looking for taste and everything, but for extremists who, who likes crap beer wouldn't like this, I can tell, but the subliminal taste to it, the undertones to it is really good. Again, I like that taste. I like kind of a, has some taste to it. I like Keystone Light or Ice nat Natural Ice or Ice, what uh, I call Natural Light or Bush light or even cord light it has some taste. It has a sweet taste, which isn't bad. Subliminally taste to it, and uh, I always maybe it's nostalgia, but I always like this is one of the better beers for me. I like it for for summer. You could drink like twenty of these. The drinkability on this beer is extraordinary high. I don't know, people on Beer Advocate say it's a, an F, like 55. I can't believe a beer. I, this is the best taste in Mexican beer. I, 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 I've had them all, but I, I like this one for sure. You can distinguish this beer from, probably I can. Yep. I, again, the drinkability is high. The mouthfeel is smooth. I just almost finished this. The bitterness at the end is great. The rating of this beer, I don't know if it's nostalgia or the stupidity, but I'd write this an A+. It's, 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 it, 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 it is what it is. You probably everybody have had it out there, but if you haven't, try it out. The price point isn't the best. It's what? Uh, a dollar a beer out in California, but 
I don't put lime in it neither, and I like it, I enjoy it. Again, it's a little it has a bite. Is it watered down a little? Yeah, it's watered down. It's not a Russian stout. A plus, world class. Corona, you'd finish off six pack and wouldn't even, you, you'd keep on drinking. Um, again, for next time, be safe and cheers.